Hey, good afternoon everybody. It is September 7th, 2023, and we are in the Old Testament, and we are in the book of 1 Samuel. We're going to read chapter 27 today. <clears throat> Alright, so in this section, well, David makes a decision. He, he, he's His men are getting worn out. He's tired of running a right way from Saul, and, and he makes a bold decision of, I'm, I'm going to go into the Philistine territory, because I don't think Saul will follow me there, and I can kind of hide out there, and I can rest and recover a little bit and i'm and i don't have to keep looking over my shoulder oddly enough in the in the territory of my enemies which is the philistines really we see the the, the king of the philistines goes for this idea now why does he go for it because he's he's fully aware that saul is chasing david he don't know why nobody really knows why but he he assumes well david must really be his enemy even though david really isn't so, so he thinks he's scored a, a coup by getting Saul's mortal enemy on his side. Now, what he doesn't realize is David's going to move out to the outskirts of his territory a little bit. So he's far enough away that the king of the Philistines doesn't quite know what he's doing. And from there, David is going out on raiding where he's actually raiding a Philistine city. And he's wiping it out completely, everything gone. But telling the king of the Philistines, oh, no, I, I, I raided a, a Jewish village. So he's able to keep this ruse going. What's really interesting is Saul on the other side. David goes to the Philistines, his mortal enemy. Saul's mortal enemy is the Philistines. And so he should think, oh my goodness, David, has, that's it. I knew it. He was a traitor. He's joined them. But Saul immediately forgets about David. He doesn't care about David anymore at that point, we're told here. So it just kind of adds to that irrationality of Saul's anger towards David. You know, when, when Saul first started out as king, he didn't really want to be king. He didn't really care about king. Then David was made king and, and he knew it. And now David's his enemy. And now David has fled and Saul forgets about him again. So, again, irrationality on Saul's part. Let's go ahead and we're going to read this section. 1 Samuel chapter 27. And David said in his heart, Now I shall perish some day by the hand of Saul. There is nothing better for me than that I should as speedily escape to the land of the Philistines. And Saul will despair of me to seek me any more in any part of Israel, so I shall escape out of his hand. And David arose and went over with the six hundred men who were with him to Achish, the son of Maok, king of Gath. So David dwelt with Achish at Gath, he and his men, each man with his household, and David with his two wives. Ahinoam the Jezreelitess, and Abigail the Carmelitess, Nabal's widow. And it was told Saul that David had fled to Gath, so he sought him no more. And David said to Achish, If I have now found favor in your eyes, let them give me a place in some town in the country that I may dwell there. For why should your servant dwell in the royal city with you? So Achish gave him Ziklag that day. Therefore Ziklag has belonged to the kings of Judah to this day. Now the time that David dwelt in the country of the Philistines was one full year and four months. And David and his men went up and raided the Gisharites, the Gizarites, and the Amalekites. For these nations were the inhabitants of the land from of old, as you go to Shur, even as far as the land of Egypt. Whenever David attacked the land, he left neither man nor woman alive, but took away the sheep, the oxen, the donkeys, the camels, and the apparel, and returned and came to Achish. And then Achish would say, Where have you made a raid today? And David would say, Against the southern area of Judah, or against the southern area of the Jerubalites, or against the southern area of the Kenites. David would save neither man nor woman alive to bring news to Gath, saying, lest they should inform on us, saying that David did this. And this was the behavior all the time he dwelt in the country of the Philistines. So Achish believed David, saying, He has made his people Israel utterly abhor him. Therefore, he will be my servant forever. May God bless the reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.